Gentlemen, welcome back. I'm uh, talking today because uh, I've had some comments in you know, the last video I was talking about, do I get that, uh, that Tudor Black Bay 58 or do I get that Breitling Super Ocean? So, still debating it a little bit, but I had a lot of people, they asked a very good question because like it was like a day or two after that, that Pelagos 39 millimeter, that new watch came out. And um, they're like, well, what do you think about that watch? And it's a really good question. So did a lot of research on it and everything. And the main, uh, the breakdown of the story is, I was sitting right back here on the couch, you know, a couple of days later, and I was sitting there on the phone, staring at the watch, going, what are all the things that I dislike about the Black Bay 58. And one of the things was I was like, man, the, the riveted link on the side, I get Tudor's whole, they wanted to distinguish it a little bit and kind of set it aside. Not set aside, that's the wrong way to look at it. Maybe give it its own identity apart from Rolex because the links are kind of the same. So I said, well, that's its own identity. It's kind of cool, I like it. But started saying, what are all the things that I want out of the Tudor watch? Well, I literally went to this. I went to my Submariner and I said, what are the things I want? I love this bracelet. And I was like, man, that Pelagos has the same kind of bracelet as the Submariner. I was like, that's what I want. I was like, I want that bracelet. So I was like, that's cool, it has it. The our markers are square versus round, which was something I didn't like, but I was like, I looked at the Black Bay 58 and I was like, man, the bronze version, the new bronze version has the adjustable Tudor clasp on it that you can kind of adjust just like this. And I'll, now that I have the Submariner kind of gotten spoiled and I love that. So I'm like, it has the bracelet that I want. It has the clasp and the adjustability that I want. And I looked at the Black Bay 58 and I go, man, I like the watch. I like that it's polished on the side of the case and everything, but when it comes to the bezel, the way that it's not marked so much, like the Submariner, that it's got more of the fine engravings around it for, I guess you'd call it the knurling or whatever. And I was like, I don't know if I'm that big of a fan of that. And I was like, well, Plagos has the markings that I like it, the way that it's more coarse on the bezel, I like that. Well, then I start going, well, the face is black. I was like, ah, I'm not so sure about that. So I started asking myself, what is it that I truly do not like about that Pelagos? There was only a couple things. And I don't know why, but I had that moment where I said, this watch is everything that I want. And I looked down at my wrist and I said, because it's sitting on my wrist. And I was like, so why do I want a watch that's trying really hard to be like what I have on my wrist? And that was the moment that my, my thought process kind of switched. And I said, why do I like that Black Bay 58? And I said, I like the case size. I like the face. I like the bezel. I was like, I actually like the riveted link because it's different and it's its own style. And the more and more that I thought about it, kind of hit that wall where I said, I have X amount of watches. And I was like, where does that watch fit in my collection? And the resounding answer was it doesn't. So to answer everybody's question, do I like the watch? The Pelagos, the new 39? Yes. Is it a very good price point for what you're getting? You're getting a 39 millimeter titanium watch. You know, it's got all of the new features the Tudor has. It comes with a rubber strap. It has so much cool stuff behind that watch. But for me, it just doesn't make sense. And it's, I buy watches to hold on to them and I, I told myself, if I buy this watch, I'm going to sell it or not wear it because I'm going to wear my Submariner. So, 
With that, I've made an appointment. I'm gonna go put that Black Bay 58 back on my wrist again and see if that's the one which I'm highly leaning towards. And I think that's gonna happen pretty soon, so. It is what it is. I know there's gonna be some people that say, hey, you're crazy, it's a better watch, it's not that much more money. That might be the case, but you know what? My money, I'll spend it how I want, so that's what I'm gonna do. But, thank you for watching. I'll keep you updated, I'll let you know, and as soon as I have that watch, I'll report back. See you guys.